Hey guys, I'm S and welcome to my video. In this video, I'm gonna do a little review on the products I've used from Lush and my opinion and if it's worth the money. And I hope you guys enjoy, I hope it helps. If you're thinking about purchasing a product, I've been using Lush for longer than a year and a half and they haven't made a difference. They don't make my skin feel completely different. So I'm not gonna lie, I switched to using the Body Shop and Sephora right now. And my opinions are based on what it did for my skin and why I stopped using most of the Lush products and if I saw any results. So I'm gonna dive right in and get started. So I'm gonna start off with some cleansers. And my first cleanser, Ocean Salt. It says, so it's a face and body scrub, our best-selling vodka infused scrub for bright and smooth skin. I find that for my skin personally, it was too rough. It was kind of an exfoliator and it's really pretty and it smells good, but I felt that it was, there's little grains of salt. It was harsh on my face. And I also found that once I was done washing my face, like five minutes after, my face was starting to dry out. I like cleansers that are very hydrant, just in case I ever forget to put lotion on, which I usually don't, but just in case. This is what it looks like on the inside. How to use, apply to damp skin and rub gentle to exfoliate and refresh the skin rinse i don't know i just didn't find that it worked for my skin it dried it out a lot more i just didn't find that it worked it smells really good it looks really pretty in blue you're supposed to stir it up and then you exfoliate your skin with it and since it has those little grains of salt i felt like it was really harsh on my skin and i can even if i went really gentle i felt like it ripping my skin kind of so i don't feel like this is worth the money personally for me and the kind of skin i have it was very harsh and yeah i just i just didn't like it and i usually give products four weeks or longer to see the difference and see if i like them before judging them and i used this whole thing of ocean salt and i wasn't sure and this is a bigger bottle i still wasn't sure if i liked it or not i knew it felt really harsh on my skin but i was like maybe it's supposed to work like that blah 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 right so i bought this one and i realized that i'm just not going to use it anymore i used this once and i was just like it's not my thing i didn't like it didn't like the way it made my skin feel so didn't use it my second is called herbalism i also have two of these two herbalism this one's a little bit different i liked it more um it's also a face and body cleanser so take a small amount into your hand add water and mix it into a paste and massage into your skin gently and cleanse then rinse clean this one i like i was actually using it a few weeks ago i don't have anything bad to say about this except for i really didn't see a difference in my skin for the whole time i was using it like i said i have two bottles so i've used it for a while other than not seeing a difference in my skin and I didn't see it really working. It did leave my skin more, I, I felt like it was cleansed. It was like silkyish and felt refreshed. It's just after five minutes of washing my face, my face also felt dry, but not as dry as it felt after using the ocean salt. So this one I liked a lot better than the ocean salt for sure. The next face cleanser that I'm gonna show is called Ultra Bland. And this one says a rich soft cleansing cream that cares for all skin types this one i like it doesn't have a strong scent and i feel like it's just creamy and good but i didn't feel like went into my skin and cleansed it as it's supposed to i like it because it's a mild skin cleanser and it doesn't have a strong scent i liked this one because it's creamy didn't feel harsh on my face didn't feel like it dried my face out and it's for all skin types it says so it was pretty good next i'm going to talk about is one of their face masks here it is and this is what it looks like on the inside this one i've had for a while i had another container i took it back to the store so that i can get this face mask that i'm going to talk about in a second so this one i haven't used in a while that's why it's a little bit paley green if that makes sense i didn't feel like this really worked for my face it didn't make my face feel any different i didn't i didn't like it um that's just my opinion someone might like it better i like my face mask to kind of tingle and like they're working and i like to instantly see a difference so right now i'm only using sephora or the body shop face mask i kind of haven't bought in anything new from lush in a few weeks i think i'm gonna start using the body shop and other products when you bring five of these containers in you get a fresh face mask and this is what i picked 
So this is a fresh face mask. Um, it says smooth mask all over the skin, leave on for 15 minutes and then rinse off with warm water. Massaging as you go. This face mask is for tired skin with warming herbs and spices and ground almond shells to polish. This one I didn't like at all. I didn't like the smell as much as I thought because it had honey in it. I thought it was gonna smell really good. I didn't like it that much. So that might be part of the reason. But I also found it extremely hard to put on my face like it didn't just like go on like most of the face masks i use like i was really digging in and like trying to spread it out and this is what it looks like and yeah i just didn't like that i felt like it was too much work for 15 minutes it wasn't just it just wasn't worth it to me next this is a lotion and a cleanser it's a cleansing lotion called nine to five and it says a top tip on it it says a simple beautiful cleanser to use when in a hurry and i'm not gonna lie i use this sometimes when i had like 8 a.m lectures and i was too lazy to wash my face and I got up late and it's silky it goes on silky it feels really cleansed and hydrating I like this product a lot so I think this is worth it this one was good for me I liked it and also what I liked was their tea tree water toner I actually have two bottles that's how much I liked it this one it says for top tip it says keep your toner in the fridge for an extra refreshing spritz so spritz onto clean skin and remove excess with cotton pad I liked this a lot I think feel like this was worth it. I still use these. So this is moisturizer with almond milk and Dove Orchard to help sensitive skin retain moisture. And I really like this one. I like most of their face lotions. They're mild scent and they go on pretty light. But the only thing that I don't like is they go on very light, but then your face feels very sticky after. And I don't put too much on. It's just, it feels sticky. Like So that's that one. So next is vanishing cream. Lightweight lavender cream that disappears into oily or blemish and prone skin i liked this one a lot it also doesn't have too strong of a scent it kind of sounds weird to be honest it doesn't really have a scent but it has like its own weird kind of scent this is what it looks like also it pretty much looks the same as the other one out of these two for your face i like this one better it smells a little bit good and i feel like even though they both kind of left my face a little bit sticky it is what it is when they left my face a little bit sticky i tend to use it more at night instead of during the day because i didn't want my face feeling like i was sweating or like just weird all day so another product that i like a lot is the dream cream if you have dry skin i feel like this hydrates your skin so much it is so worth it this is what it looks like on the inside so this one you can't put on your face because i guess what's in it but so top tip so hand and body lotion a calming and cooling cream to moisturize even to the most sensitive skin i like this i have sensitive skin my skin gets really dry in the winter this hydrates it perfectly and it felt great it doesn't have a strong scent you, there's oats in it and on the back of the dream cream it says pairing the dream cream with the dream wash it's perfect duo for soothing and sensitive bodies the packaging is a little messed up because it's hard to get out so i have to squeeze it out but it's a shower cream it's called odie cream dreamy and it doesn't have a strong scent either it kind of smells like the lotion but yeah it's creamy and it's good for sensitive skin when my skin's dry in the winter i usually use those together but yeah next i'm gonna talk about the sleepy cream so this is a body lotion drift off into a slumber with sweet lavender scented skin i'm not gonna lie i used this when i couldn't sleep during the school year or couldn't fall asleep it might have just been all in my head but it's pretty it's nice and lavender -y color it smells really good and this i liked for sure this is a new thing that i got because i don't even have a lot left it's called charity pot I really like this. It smells good. It kind of reminds me of the scent of a Cabbage Patch doll's face. I don't know why, but that's what it reminds me of and I liked it a lot. Like it was like me smelling the dolls I had as, when I was a child. This I just started using a few weeks ago and I haven't been using it religiously because I just haven't been really using my Lush products that much. This is called Enchanted and it's an eye cream. Okay, a gentle blend of organic oils and honey for your most delicate skin. I felt like this was very light weight and gentle and i like it so far i can't really give the best review on it because i haven't been using it that long like all the other products i've been using for a year or longer so this one i just got and it's actually full and i like it so far and then this i love 
So this is called Grease Lightning. It's tea tree and aloe gel. Keep things clear with cleansing, witch hazel and rosemary. This is great. I usually, if I see a pimple coming or feel a pimple coming, I put this on after I cleanse my face and before I go to bed. And in the morning, it's gone and the pimple's gone. And I love this. I will always use this. And stuff to get rid of pimples, I'm always gonna use. So this, I recommend from Lush. It's good. So on. So those are all the products that I have in containers from Lush right now. So some of the other products that I don't have the containers here right now because I brought back was Angels on Bare Skin and I have it open right here on my laptop. So this one honestly reminds me of Herbalism. It's white though and this one's green but it felt the same. It felt gentle on your skin. It feels good. Also dries out your skin after five minutes or your skin feels dry after five minutes. So I don't know if I would recommend it. I wouldn't use it again but it is a gentle exfoliator. It feels good while you're washing your face. That's my opinion. So it says how to use it says take a small amount in your hands mix into a paste exactly what this said it's pretty much the same thing that for a little bit different and i think when you go to lush they tell you they're pretty similar too so another one that i used was a bar of soap and it was called lush pharmacy and i used that every single day before i put any exfoliator on so i would wet my face soap it up with the bar of soap wash my face then i would use an exfoliator so that was kind of just a soap to get excess dirt off my face before i even use the exfoliator so that my face was really clean i like to see bubbles and some of the exfoliators don't have that or most don't so well from lush so that's why i got the soap too and that's why i was using it as a dual thing another exfoliator is let the good times roll which smelled amazing it was very creamy and caramel um a lot of people said it smelled like popcorn so like the caramel corn it was really good i liked it a lot and it was very like you put it into a paste too and then you rub it on your face and it smelled really good and it was very gentle and and I liked it a lot. Um, I liked it a lot, but not enough for me to purchase again. None of the Lush products, I feel like, worked on my face that great at all. I'm kind of done with their products, except for the few that I said did, which was Grease Lightning and the 9 to 5 and the tea tree oil. So those ones I will still use, but as of right now, I'm taking a break from Lush and I started using different products from a different store. I hope my video kind of helps you with my opinion if you guys were trying to think of buying these kind of products from Lush. My skin is kind of dry. Um, it doesn't it doesn't really get oily, so it's kind of dry to normal. Um, I don't feel like Lush products are worth the money. I don't know. I just don't think it's worth the money, in my opinion. Some of the stuffs that I said I like, the lotions, the sleepy time lotion, the dream cream lotion, the shower gel, I think those are worth it, and the nine to five. Some of their cleansers, they didn't work for me, but the good thing about Lush is you can go into their store and get little mini size samples, like like in these little containers they're tiny and you can try it on your face if you like it and you think it feels good then go buy a, big, a bigger size and you might like it and it might work good for you this whole video was just based on my opinion and what i liked and what i didn't like and if i thought it was worth it so i hope this video helped and yeah thank you for watching